Hi, welcome to the English Scholar Online Camp. In this video, we'll talk about when and how to use commas if there are coordinating conjunctions such as for, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so in a sentence. But before we start, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for exclusive English grammar tutorials. So let's begin. As mentioned earlier, we'll learn in using commas beside coordinating conjunctions. In this case, we have two ways in using commas. 1. We use commas if two simple sentences or independent clauses are joined by a coordinating conjunction. To further understand this, let us first familiarize or recall the three types of sentence. First, simple sentence. What is a simple sentence? A simple sentence is a group of words that consists of just one independent clause. Now, what is an independent clause? An independent clause is a group of words that contains a subject, a verb, and a complete thought. In short, an independent clause is a clause that can stand alone as a sentence. For example, Patrick washed his hands. We have Patrick being the subject and washed as the verb. Patrick washed his hands. Does the sentence give a complete thought? Yes, definitely. Who did the washing? Patrick. What did he do? Of course, washed his hands. And folks, in this type of sentence, we do not use a comma. So let's go to the second in the list, which is a compound sentence. A compound sentence consists of two independent clauses, and these two independent clauses are usually combined using a comma and any of the seven coordinating conjunctions, namely for, and, nor, but, or, yet, so, after the comma. And we notice that these coordinating conjunctions are abbreviated into fine boys. You can use this to easily remember the seven coordinating conjunctions. Let's have an example. Patrick washed his face and he combed his hair. Marty ate burger, but Amelie ate pizza. We have Patrick as our subject washed as our verb, and then he, another subject, and our verb, co. So, two independent clauses. In this type of sentence, we put a comma first before the conjunction. Let's check again the examples. After the first independent clauses, we put commas first, and then the coordinating conjunctions and and but. Always remember, we only use a comma if the two clauses combined are both independent clauses. So, third in the list. Complex sentence. A complex sentence is a group of words that consists of one independent clause and one or more dependent clauses. For example, Patrick got dressed because it was time for school. In this sentence, we have one independent clause and one dependent clause. Quick overview of what is a dependent clause. A dependent clause is a group of words that may have a subject and a verb, but it has no complete thought. And it is usually marked by a dependent marker word such as because, even if, so, although, unless, until, whatever, when, whenever, whether, while, in order to, since, as if, after, before, and etc. So back to the topic. Again, in this sentence, we have one independent clause and one dependent clause. And our dependent clause here is marked by what? 
a dependent marker word, which is because. In this type of sentence, we do not use a comma. So, in all of the three types of sentence, only in the second types are we going to use a comma before the coordinating conjunction. Or, in other terms, we only use commas if two simple sentences or independent clauses are joined by a coordinating conjunction. But hold on, there are certain exceptions. So here comes our second way of using a comma before a coordinating conjunction. Okay, let's go back to the first type of sentence, the simple sentence. I told you that we are not going to use a comma, but this has an exemption. Take a look. In the example that I gave you, Patrick washed his hands. In this sentence, we did not use a comma, and we did it right. How about these next examples? Patrick washed his hands and feet. Marty ate burger and pizza. She is pretty but short. She ran but did not drink water. Look, we have the coordinating conjunction and and but. Are these sentences written correctly? Yes, absolutely. Why? Because that's a rule. If a sentence has only two nouns, or two verbs, or two adjectives, we use coordinating conjunctions, but not commas. See the sentences. In the first and second examples, we have two nouns. Hands, feed, burger, pizza. The third sentence, we have two adjectives. Pretty and short. In the fourth example, we have two verbs, ran and drink. So even though we use coordinating conjunctions, we do not necessarily use commas. Okay, I hope that's not a lot. How about these ones? Patrick washed his hands, feet, and face. She is beautiful, smart, but short. Are they written correctly? Well, no. Here's the rule. If the sentences has a series with three or more items like verbs, nouns, and adjectives, we use commas, and they should be put before the coordinating conjunctions. Let's take a look at the first sentence. Patrick washed his hands, feet, and face. We see that it has three nouns, hands, feet, and face. So. Remembering the rule, we write it this way. Patrick washed his hands, comma, feet, comma, and then the coordinating conjunction and, and then face. Okay, now you try the second example. Pause this video and write your answer in the comment below. She is beautiful, smart but short. Okay, here's the correct answer. We write, she is beautiful, comma, smart, comma, and then the coordinating conjunction, but, and then short. Congratulations if you get it right. Now, let's have a recap by having the do's and don'ts. The only don't. Do not use a comma if there are only two nouns, verbs, or adjectives in a sentence. Deduce. Use a comma if it is a series with three or more items of nouns, verbs, or adjectives. Use a comma if two simple sentences or independent clauses are joined with a coordinating conjunction. We hope you guys have learned something. Thank you so much for watching and see you in our next video.